a major setback for NASA. The historic mission to the moon was just officially scrubbed. All morning long, the launch has faced problem after problem. And CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live for us in the newsroom with the issues the engineers have been dealing with this morning. Cara? Good morning, Serene. NASA had said if this launch did not happen this morning, they would try again on Friday. But if there are larger issues, we could be looking at a late September or an October launch. Let's get right to a live look at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This launch originally set for 5.30 a.m. this morning. Now, that's Pacific time. NASA repeatedly stopped and started the fueling of the Space Launch rocket system, though, with about a million gallons of super cold hydrogen and oxygen because of a leak, and then later said there was a possible crack or some other type of defect. Now, scientists say they believe that crack appears to just be a buildup of frost. There is still that problem, though, of fuel to be dealt with. NASA's team is hoping to send the rocket and the Orion capsule on a more than one month journey, traveling about 1.3 million miles beyond the far side of the moon and then back down to the Earth's orbit, where it will splash into the Pacific. No human astronauts on board for this mission. What you're looking at here getting a ride are three dummies. Uh, they are high tech and will be suited up in astronaut gear. They will collect some useful mission data. The bigger goal, though, to get astronauts back to the moon by 2025. After that, to continue on to Mars. Now, during the initial buildup to today, we spoke with one of NASA's staff about the precautions. At every level, right down to the smallest piece, we test, we test, we test again. Then when we've integrated it together, we test once more. When you build a spacecraft, you can't take any chances. Certainly not when you're building a human-rated spacecraft. And this is part of the crowd that has been there at the Kennedy Space Center hoping to see this. Folks have been lined up for miles all around the area, so clearly some disappointment for them and for NASA. But again, NASA now just planning to reschedule to Friday at the earliest. We will keep you updated throughout the morning.